Hi everyone, in this video I want to give you more information about private training centers in China. So if you do decide to go work in China at a private training center, uh, there are a few things to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, think about the hours that you will be working. Uh, you will be working, gener generally speaking, nights and weekends. So a typical training center schedule for you uh, will look like possibly 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. or maybe sometimes 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, something like this would probably be your schedule. Uh, usually something like Wednesday to Sunday or sometimes Friday to what was it? Friday to Tuesday, maybe uh, something like this. I don't recommend you choose a private training center where they give you a split shift, where you work in the morning and then you come back later, work in the evening. Uh, there are so many schools out there where you do not have to do that, so I, I don't recommend doing that. Also, there are many schools. Uh, that do give you the two days off in a row. So if there's a school that decides to give you Monday off and Friday off or Tuesday off and Thursday off, I, I wouldn't recommend it uh, because it's just so much nicer to have the two days off in a, in a row. Um, now for the students that you'll teach, there are adults usually and the adults are highly motivated uh, because they're paying for the courses usually, usually or their company pays for it. In that case sometimes they're not so motivated but gen generally speaking they're motivated uh, and uh, there are face-to-face uh, -face classes and online classes so it depends on where you work. Uh, you, you could be teaching face-to-face -face or online. If you teach face-to-face -face, it'll be in a classroom uh, with a group of students. Sometimes uh, the class is as small as one, sometimes it's as large as you know 20. Uh, it depends on what your assignments are. Uh, some uh, private training uh, schools will give you a variety of different types of classes where you may have small group and large group classes so you'll have to find out about that. And also, if you do teach business English, uh, if you know about business, there is a great market for teaching business English in China, especially in the big cities like uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou, etc. Uh, now, also, uh, kids do come to tra uh, training centers as well to learn English, and so. Uh, you may also be teaching kids, uh, so you'd have to find out at your training center who the students are. Are they adults? Are they kids? Do you teach both? Do you teach only one group? Uh, who, are, who are the students exactly? Uh, so if you do teach kids, uh, summers are going to be very busy for you. Uh, the other seasons, uh, a little bit less so because they go to school and they might come to study English in the evening. But uh, I've heard that it is demanding uh, for for you. Uh, don't let somebody tell you it's easy to teach kids. Uh, I, I don't think so. You you need to be very uh, energetic, and uh, you need to have a lot of creative ideas. Get everybody involved uh, physically. So um, that's a uh, something different. Uh, adults too. You need to get them involved physically if it's a uh, physical classroom uh, sometimes but uh, you know for kids just just make sure you're well prepared for that uh, if you've never done it before if you've never really taught before I'd say teaching adults would be better because uh, they're much more uh, easier to handle they're much easier to handle uh, you know if, if you do start to lo lose your grip of the class and now uh, for salary uh, the private training centers don't pay the best but not the worst either 
Uh, for me, back in 2012, when I started at EF English First, I think my salary came out to be about, was about 13,000 Chinese yuan renminbi per, per month. I think it was somewhere around the $2,000 mark. Um, I think this is pretty typical of training centers in China. Some training centers do pay, pay more. Uh, if you are going to China uh, for the first time, I recommend you find a training center in a big city. Uh, if you do want to work at a training center, go to a big city first where they will have some, you know, more people speak English. There are more amenities for you, more people to help you. Uh, now, also for the rest of the package that they should be offering you, they should be paying for your visa uh, to go there. You will need a visa to go to China to work. It's the Z visa, the work visa, good for one year. Uh, so uh, your company should be uh, sponsoring you for that. They will send you the documents in the mail. If, if you uh, do decide to work for the training center, uh, you will probably pay for the visa here in America, and then later when you get to China, they will reimburse you. Uh, also, some things that could be included is the, the flight. You'll probably pay for some of your flight. It could be paid back in your paycheck every month, or sometimes at the end of the, the, the year. Uh, that's a little bit more risky because you don't know if you will actually get that. Uh, some other bonuses could be like some kind of health insurance, and things like that. Uh, some companies that I recommend you to try, uh, take a look at, are EF English First, also Web International, uh, and uh, Wall Street English. Wall Street. Take a look at those three. Do a search online for those three. There are more than that, uh, but just search. Uh, go on their website. Don't go through a recruiter for those. You can go. You can directly. Uh, contact somebody from from them, and uh, they will they will get you get you going. Uh, for Web and Wall Street, they do pay a little bit higher than EF uh, for teachers starting. Uh, so you, so you may want to take a look at those. Uh, but I find EF to be a bigger com bigger company. They have more schools, especially in uh, Shanghai. So uh, take a look and see if you do decide to work at a private training center. Uh, you can leave a comment and I'll respond as well. I'd be very happy to give you more advice. And also check out the other videos that I'm, I'll be posting about the other types of schools in China.